We bring to you the inspired word of God as you listen to the teachings and preachings of a servant of God, Hosanna David, preaching the end time gospel. Let us pray. Lord, in your presence this morning, we come to be fed by you. We therefore ask that you distribute to our hearts according to our needs. May your spirit speak expressly from heaven. And not me, for I'm a man, but you are divine. You might do the talking for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Be seated. The topic we are considering today throughout the Church of Nigeria is preparing for the final harvest. Preparing for the final harvest. For everything under the sun, there is a beginning. And whatsoever thing that has a beginning has an end too. Let's look at our text. Matthew chapter 13. We will take verse 30. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. This is a parable that Jesus gave while he was talking to the people. And secretly, he told the disciples the meaning of this parable. Verse 37, following, Jesus said, Let me read. He answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the son of man. The field is a word. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the test are the children of the wicked one. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are the angels. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. The Son of Man shall send his angels. They shall gather out of, all, out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Who had ears to hear, let him, let him hear. If you look at the word, if your faith is not strong in God, you may question the existence of God. There are killings everywhere. Innocent babies coming into this world are murdered in their mother's womb. And some who defy the bullets of drugs and concussions for abortions when they struggle out of their mother's womb, some mothers throw them into the toilets. Some, they strangulate them and throw them on the street. Cast humans, infants, the dustbin. Lots of killings everywhere. Evil is rising. It has gotten to its peak and it will continue to climb. Different religions all over the world, some are very violent. Like Islam, they preach peace, but they are for war. Killings everywhere, even in the house of God. They could enter any house of God if they have the access and kill. And a lot of people have come to a very strong conclusion that there is no God. 
The church is not left out. Lots of evil going on. But I want to tell us that Jesus Christ will come back again. According to the word of Jesus, that he will send his angels down and they will reap this earth. If you look at the world, you discover that the earth is fading away. Everything is passing away before our very eyes. There is no need to argue whether there is God or not. The world never came to existence by itself. The Lord revealed to me some months back the time of distress and we have entered the time. I promise you, according to God's word, the world will not get better than what it is today. The collective peace we have in the world is not going to improve. The wars will continue. Those who doubt the existence of God, they will have more reasons to doubt, to doubt the existence of God because it is going to be very, very terrible. The world before it comes to an end, it will be more terrifying. I mean, the things that are going to happen in the world. We will continue to see people who will come into the church, either those who will sit at the pews or those who will sit at the altar, people who will come into the church to give Jesus quick notice from the church. All these things will happen. Even the abomination of the solution. All these things will come to pass. They are coming to pass already. And the advice from the word of God today. The conclusion of this message is from Revelation chapter 22 verse 11 following. It says, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. He that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly. My reward is with me to give to every man according to, as his work shall be. I am Alpha. And Omega, the beginning and the end of first and the last. Whatsoever thing our hand finds to do, according to Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 10, let us do it with the whole of our strength. Because the grave where we are going, there is no activity there. If you want to steal, if you used to steal once in a week, from this moment, steal every day. If you fly to the coven once in a week, now fly every day. Don't stop. If you are among those who come to the church to destroy the true children of God and fight, don't stop. Continue. If you are among those who come and because you are fortunate to be in one position or the other, people come to beg you for money and you take advantage of these small guests who are vulnerable. Don't stop. Continue. If you have committing abortion, continue. Don't stop because your reward shall be in full. And until Jesus Christ finishes giving his reward to the wicked, he will not rest. Revelation chapter 1 verse 7 says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye will see him. And they also wish pierce him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. They shall wail. So before you wail, continue in whatsoever thing you are doing. Those who have seared their conscience in order to perpetrate evil, continue. But if you are righteous, don't give up. Because your reward shall be in full. If you are holy, you want to follow Jesus. Let nothing discourage you. If you are doing good, don't be weary of well-doing. Because in due season, we shall reap. Whatsoever thing your hand finds to do in this world, don't listen to anybody. 
Don't be discouraged, whether in well-doing or in bad. May the Lord bless his words in our hearts in Jesus' name. We hope you were blessed by this message. For more information, visit our website www.egoeyeopener.com Email us at hosannadavid at or info at egoeyeopener.com God bless you.